Mr. President, I don't need anything from you, nothing. The oxygen I have is from God. You can give me nothing. And you can't threaten me. There's nothing you can do to me. You know, you think that if you kill me, if you harm me, people will stop being upset. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show. This is Ghetto TV, KE, and it's your boy, Byron. Okay, there's been questions around about Boniface Mwangi. And uh, there have been surfacing photos or images of him being dented, beaten up, and everything around the social media. Guys, allow us to dig deep into this matter to know where is Boniface Mwangi and what is he doing or what has happened to him. Thank you and stay tuned. For the new subscribers, please keep on subscribing. And for the return subscribers, thank you and welcome. So we all know Boniface Mwangi and he's not new to all of us. He's an activist, a businessman, who owns a studio and more this, this and that. We also know about his family, of which today we are not going to talk more about the family. Now, during the recent protest about the Gen Z protest, he was forefront, fighting so hard about uh, the finance bill and also very vocal about uh, the president himself. There's a time back then where uh, he did a video, which we'll show later, uh, saying that uh, Mr. President uh, invited him to his office, of which he declined, not once, not twice, but thrice. So Boniface Mwangi has been on the hunt, and each and every time he's been outside, he was arrested, or there was arrest warrant on his head. And uh, aside from that, also about his family, the family was also not safe. Most of the time they would travel from one place to another, from one place to another, since they could not even stay in their home. Mr. Boniface Mwangi did, uh, wrote something on his social media some weeks back. And this is what he wrote. There is nothing selfish about suicide. Someone gets to a stage in life and they decide this is it for them. They are ready for the next world. The pain, troubles, and expectations of others in this world is too much. They exit the stage, celebrate their life, end of a story. And after Mr. Mwangi wrote this on his social media, uh, it gave jitters, more questions. So people would ask why, what, what did he mean? Because it was a cryptic message. What did it mean? Even others say that he was contemplating suicide and it was the last note from Mr. Boniface Mwangi. While others saw it like theatrics. Whereas um, for us, people like me and you, we are still transfixed of which part should we take. Whether is it, is it theatrics? Is it fact? Or something. Days later, he shared a video of himself in the mortuary being attended to with some two people. Still part of what he had written earlier. And the questions still were there. What is he trying to portray? Is he trying to prepare us for his last part or time in the world? Or Is he trying to show us something new that is coming up? So, with all said and done, people started writing left, right, and center about uh, Mr. Mwangi, Mr. Boniface, where are you, what is happening, this and that. And he deactivated most of his accounts. And to some that are still there, he went mum. No one has known or heard of him since that day so still uh after doing that there were stories like there was some someone who wrote to him there's come back stronger healthier and rejuvenated one netizen told boniface mwangi after the video and everything and uh, there were some photos that came uh, that uh, people started posting that oh boniface mwangi was seen somewhere with friends and they uh, sharing some cryptic messages more and uh, others were still worried about him like what is not happening what is not happening and still uh, with Boniface Mwangi 
after doing that after doing the video and everything more messages start popping up and uh, there's the one person who wrote in quote as i quote a dog that is chasing a lizard will always hit his head on the wall kiangondu saying a dog that is chasing a lizard will always hit his head on the wall and he finished by saying pray for boniface mwangi who has just been reported to have gone mad is it true that boniface mwangi is mad is it true or is it true that boniface mwangi is contemplating suicide we are yet to know more so with all that uh the same person posted a photo of boniface mwangi injured like we can see up there injured and um, not in good condition also others of which I, I could not post the other posted photos of him not feeling well looking mad looking uh, confused or something else so even we are asking where is boniface mwangi because uh, after that uh, the last thing is he was advocating for it was about the nani nani protest and uh, if you check on his social medias the last time which at there unactivated and deactivated once he was more vocal about the nani nani and all of a sudden he went mum after posting about the death things and everything and the video of the last post he went mum until today we don't know where boniface mwangi is what is happening to boniface mwangi and even the wife once posted and he told people like just let's pray for boniface mwangi he is fine and uh, he is doing well so whom should we believe or has he been abducted with the government or has he gone to visit mr president has the president one, once wanted to meet him or is boniface mwangi playing theatrics with us here is the last video that boniface mwangi did while saying about mr president who wanted to wanted him to visit who wanted to see him but he declined the visit he declined the offer and also he declined the invitation are you afraid and upset that i refuse to meet you in the kutakusumboro julikada kuja state house the office of the president iko harambe house uje kanyanga huko kutoka tukuandike kazi we gave you a job you don't even go to your office that's why kenyans are upset kila kitu ni state house mr president i don't need anything from you nothing the oxygen i have is from god you can give me nothing and you can't threaten me there's nothing you can do to me you know you think that if you kill me if you harm me people will stop being upset people are angry at you for your incompetence for your corruption for your bad leadership you've been president for two and a half years deputy president 10 years member of parliament for almost 20 years you've been in politics for over 30 years ushe jenga darasa ta moja one classroom one library ama one playground ukaenda uka reclaim ukapatia to playground nothing kazi yako ni ukora kwa kanisa you left the church as young people because of people like you you are so focused on building churches we have no hospitals we have no schools because you think our parents are stupid now our parents pia mchanuka they can see through your corruption and through your lies we are asking you to lead not to kill us waje umetishia kila mtu umetishia members of parliament umetishia ma governors na kutishia watu hii hawa tu imagency au kogopi imagine it's so sad that our vijana wako kwa barabara always in a date always katiana hata demo is for the ball by accident mlitoa linda mama so hata mtu aweze afford kulipa maternity kulidanganya mademu wetu kwamba utawapatia 6 months of diapers ujawapatia hata moja uongo tu watu wanasema if you're not flying you're lying stop lying and work for us campaigns are over itoka juu ya gari enda harambe house kaka ofisi ufanye kazi kila saa nikusalimiana hapo nje ya status na watu you don't shake your hand you want you to just work 
stop killing us because the more you kill us, the louder we become.